Earlier today, we got what is probably the first legitimate look at Avowed, Obsidian's upcoming AAA RPG that they've basically been radio silent on for years now, but this leak came in a completely bizarre and odd fashion. To go along with this leak, we get some updates on the game in general, but even beyond that, it was just discovered that this isn't the only new game that Obsidian has in the pipeline. As reportedly, Obsidian Entertainment is working on yet another new AAA RPG in addition to Avowed and in addition to The Outer Worlds 2. Are those Fallout New Vegas 2 rumors finally coming to fruition? We'll talk about all of that and even a bit more in this one, but before that, we have to talk about the one thing helping this channel fight back against demonetization, the truly AAA quality game that can fit right in your pocket, and today's video sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Use my QR code on screen now or the links in the description to download Raid for yourself completely for free on mobile or PC. Every great game has a final hill to climb, that last major challenge in Raid is the Doom Tower. This massive tower is a giant prison with the world's worst baddies, but now the Arbiter is fantastic failing to keep his ward stable, so he must go in and fight what the Doom Tower holds. This will require you to bring the best champions you own. It'll feature intense boss fights with all kinds of unique mechanics like draining turn meters. Carefully crafting your perfect team before entering is essential, and it's a ton of fun experimenting with different team compositions as this is a true challenge. And if you need some new champions for it, Ray just dropped the Ultimate Death Knight, a souped up version of everyone's favorite champion, the regular Death Knight, and you can get him totally for free by just logging in and playing Raid for 7 days by October. October 27th. And if you do unlock the Ultimate Death Knight, you could also instantly upgrade him by using code DKRISES to get a bunch of free items to upgrade some champions even further. But Raid is also getting into the Halloween spirit. New players can get a bunch of real life and in game prizes, like a $1,000 Amazon gift card or even some legendary Halloween themed champions. Just go to trickortreat.polarium.com and enter your Raid player ID, and you'll be entered to win these awesome prizes. This runs until November 5th. There's never been a better time to get started in Raid. New players use my link or scan the QR. QR code right here and you get a free starter pack worth almost $30 as well as a free champion with Virgies and this cool in-game loot. You'll find the rewards in your inbox here for the next 30 days only. But looking back at Avowed, earlier today Jess Corden started tweeting about Avowed, this being some details and a status update of sorts on the game, and also this very blurry picture. Jess Corden has really become the source on this game. A year ago almost to the day, he wrote up an entire article for Windows Central describing some leaked Avowed gameplay he saw. In that he described a ton of things about Avowed how it has loadout based combat with unique abilities for classes, a more colorful world akin to the outer worlds, and even guns will be present in the game. But as I mentioned earlier in this video, officially news has been surprisingly quiet on Avowed, but we got an update earlier this summer after it missed the Xbox Summer Showcase from Jason Schreier, where he said there was a big reboot at the end of 2020, beginning of 2021, when a bunch of directors moved were replaced. That definitely doesn't seem like a great sign, but either way, earlier today we get some more updates from Jez Corden. He first mentioned how he thinks people are going to be impressed with Avowed, which to me does suggest he has seen more of the game since that article he wrote late last year. And in the replies to this, somebody asked if the reports of an internal reboot were true, and he said, They did change up the team and change up the creative directors, but the result was a better pace of speed and a better vision. The first vertical slice under this new direction came a lot more quickly. Direction of the game changed in a good way in my opinion, which I'll talk about someday. And to me, this is actually quite reassuring. If you're not familiar, a vertical slice in game development is basically a playable portion of the game where really all of the game systems are coming together to function. So it actually starts to feel like a game with mechanics and visuals, etc. So the fact that this aspect of the Outer Worlds came together more quickly is definitely a really good sign. And that ending part about the direction changing in a good way definitely makes it sound like Avowed was having problems previously. I mean, the last update, even though it was unofficial, we had on the game was it was rebooted and people were leaving the project, which is basically always a bad sign in gaming. But here we're hearing how the team was changed around and things were revamped, and now seemingly there aren't the same problems as before. This likely suggests that the game will come later than we expected. I mean, just the fact that we haven't heard anything in two and a half years does suggest that. But even despite there probably being internal delays around the project, things are moving smoothly now and it's definitely not in development hell. But of course, the most notable part about these leaks overall is this image that was also tweeted out by Jez Corden with the caption, here you go. This seemed to be a totally new image of Avowed, but obviously it was very blurred, so you really can't make out much of anything. Except almost immediately in the reply 
replies to this tweet, somebody responded with a non-blurred version. Still not the highest quality of images, but at the same time, this is probably the first time we're actually getting to see Avowed. Not a CGI trailer, but an actual look at what the game will be. And it's hard to not describe this situation as just outright hilarious. Just Corden teasing a image of the game where you can't really see anything and someone being like, oh yeah, I have that, here you go. Since then, both tweets have been deleted, but Jess Corden later on confirmed that this is legit and it seems to be a very old picture of the game. As for the picture itself, it honestly reminds me heavily of Oblivion, and even more specifically, I think it reminds me most of the fan-made remake with Sky Oblivion. We can see two-handed magic in action, reportedly avowed will feature some very intricate spell casting. Past leaks have mentioned that this spell we could see in the original trailer is literally in the game, like you do that in the game to cast a spell. It almost looks like we're seeing a similarly complex spell being cast here. Just Corden had a few follow-up tweets, like how Avowed will be set in the Living Lands region of Aeora, so it's going to be integrated into Pillars of Eternity quite closely. If you didn't know, Avowed will be set in the same universe as the Pillars of Eternity games from Obsidian, but also how, at least as of right now, he doesn't know what the release timetable is for Avowed. And Avowed is this bizarre situation where there's been a ton of leaks, but otherwise it's been almost two and a half years since we've seen anything official from Obsidian, and about one and a half years before they said they have more to show soon. It seems like this internal reboot almost certainly happened and it delayed things. But perhaps with all of this happening now, this new leak and details and an image, we may be closer to seeing something. The Game Awards are coming in December, and Obsidian has already had huge success there, as that's where we got the debut of The Outer Worlds. And for me, the overall takeaway is that despite some of the past troubles the game may have had, it seems to be doing quite well now, at least internally at Obsidian. But that isn't all, as it was also just recently discovered that Obsidian is working on yet another new game. This comes from a Reddit post, but the real source here is LinkedIn. This post claims that Obsidian's working on a new AAA RPG with a team of 80 people and has actually been doing so for over a year now. And these claims are going to be mostly based on LinkedIn profiles, but this post isn't actually linking to most of those profiles for privacy reasons, which I understand to be honest. The author probably didn't want a bunch of Obsidian employees being spammed on LinkedIn by a bunch of people on Reddit, but at the same time it is then difficult to verify some of the information here. So let's see what I could verify. There is a new job listing from Obsidian that is looking for a world builder, someone eager to learn and help set the foundation for our next major RPG, and this seemingly is a job based in Unreal Engine. And from a separate profile, I could find someone who began working at Obsidian in September of 2021, and as of that point, he was working on an unannounced title. So that could have been Pentiment, it was the game that was announced earlier this year, but Pentiment's actually being made by only 12 people. And this person at Obsidian is an outsourcing manager, so it doesn't really fit. So this unannounced project they are working on could in fact be this new project the job listing is tied to. And at the very least, it does seem to be confirmed that Obsidian is working on yet another new major RPG. It's not really clear if it's AAA, and I couldn't verify if it actually is a team of 80 people or not, but it very well also could have been in development for about a year now. And this would mean that Obsidian has two full releases this year, with Grounded version 1.0, Pentiment coming later in November, but then three more upcoming RPGs in the future, with Avowed, The Outer Worlds 2, and this totally new game. And to add a little bit more fuel to the fire as to what this new game could be, as far as I can tell, and I've actually been looking around for a while now, Tim Kaine and Leonard Boyarsky aren't working on The Outer Worlds 2. These were the game directors on The Outer Worlds 1, but also the original creators of Fallout, and there's been no public indication that they are actually moving on to the sequel with The Outer Worlds 2. And it's actually quite the opposite, as Brandon Adler is listed as the current game director, and even on Avowed, Carrie Patel is listed as the game director. So it seems relatively easy to connect those puzzle pieces. Perhaps this new major RPG is actually the project of Tim Kaine and Leonard Boyarsky, or maybe even just one of them. I mean, they don't really have to work together. And the story overall here definitely writes itself. New major RPG goes into development six months after the Microsoft buyout of Bethesda closes, and during that same time, the original creators of Fallout who now work under the Microsoft umbrella are working on this unannounced project. And I think connecting all of these dots, it almost would seem like a Fallout game could be in production at Obsidian, except they literally just said last week they weren't working on a Fallout game. With the CEO of Obsidian going as far to say that he would love the opportunity in the future, but it's really going to be up to Bethesda. That definitely would be quite the lie and quite the misdirection if they've been working on a Fallout game for a year now, but then saying, no, we haven't. Would be the first time a game developer has lied, and I know there's a lot of you who will be very hopeful out there that he was lying, but I kind of feel like 
like he wasn't. I kind of feel like this just is a different and perhaps new RPG that is being developed at Obsidian. Either way, the situation is definitely interesting, but not super shocking. Jez Corden also reported in late 2021 that Obsidian wants to have one game a year for the next seven years. That means they have to work on a lot of games, and then having yet another RPG in the works would fall in line with that. Either way, though, those are some of the leaks and updates around Obsidian and their games. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one. Hopefully, you found this video informative. But with that, I hope to see you all next time. Later.